Let's hear a story. This is Joe. He is a brilliant gamer and also a crypto miner. Apparently, he used GPU and owned several GPU cards. Everything went well. He got a lot of money from mining some cryptos. Until boom! There's market crash in early 2018 and it makes GPU mining no longer profitable. Joe is so confused. He need to think of other mining alternatives. And he happened to stumble across Whitefire's Bitcoin talk about FPGA mining. Joe was interested and he tried it on AWS. It did prove critical point. Compared to GPU, FPGA, which in this case is VCU 1525, only consumes 80 to 90 watts power with 300 megahertz clock speed. And with the same power consumption, FPGA can run 6 until 20 times faster than GPU. Subsequently, Joe decided to jump on the FPGA mining train. He learned about it through a lot of books. But what is FPGA actually? It stands for Field Programmable Git Array. You can think of it as a bunch of Lego brick. You can build almost anything with them. It is up to you. But in this case, the building blocks are digital circuits. Shortly, let's say FPGA is a programmable digital circuit. The most familiar way to explain about digital circuit is to think of CPU. CPU is a digital circuit that has a general purpose of running multiple tasks and we usually build software to run on it. Unlike CPU, FPGA is a blank digital circuit. We need to design the digital circuit and it will behave accordingly. So, you have control over the hardware. Right, after getting the idea of FPGA, now let's jump back to cryptocurrency mining. It can be done through these four ways. But since CPU is very inefficient, let's just discuss the other three ways. To kick us off, let's make an analogy. It will be about efficiency when computing cryptographic algorithms. Let's say we have the task of mowing the lawn, and we're looking for the most efficient tools to utilize. First, we have GPU. It's like a toolbox with set of random tools. Not all the items inside are useful, but luckily consists of scissors, machete, and handheld grass cutter, which can be used for lawn mowing. It provides you with a lot of options, but they are not the most efficient. Next, we have FPGA. Imagine you are given a set of engineering kit. You can build a lawnmower with this kit, but it takes more time and effort. However, this tool can finish the task faster than the toolbox, and also you can rebuild it into other tools for other functions. Then we have ASIC. Think of it like a lawnmower machine. It could finish the task very fast, but you cannot rebuild it into something else for other function. And after getting the bigger picture of it through the analogy, let's jump into the real condition. GPU is a digital circuit that normally used to process images, but it can also be used to compute crypto mining algorithm and its architecture allows it to perform faster than CPU. Then, FPGA. It is a generic block that can be built a custom digital circuit. You can program each block to be a particular digital circuit so that FPGA will be able to do certain function. And ASIC. It is a specific circuit that is built permanently upon the chip only to apply a particular function. Now, let's move forward with the comparison between those three. First, let's see ASIC. ASIC is user-friendly, and it also performs in high hash per watt. But ASIC is not adaptable, 
So when the coin is obsolete, you have to say goodbye to your hardware. And then we have GPU. GPU is also user friendly, but it performs in a low hash per watt. But the good thing is GPU is adaptable. Then we have FPGA. Sadly, FPGA is less user friendly, but it performs in moderate hash per watt, and also it is adaptable, so you can change the coin that you mine. So after knowing all the comparison, what's the point? Let's discuss further about this tree. First, let's take a look at this performance versus time graph. From here, you can see that FPGA is faster than GPU, but it is still slower than ASIC. From this table, you must think, why don't we use ASIC then? Well, let's take a look at this diagram. It shows the algorithm compatibility of those three. GPU basically can mine all algos that mineable using FPGA and ASIC, but since it is slower, it will be difficult to get profit. And why not ASIC? Here we can see that its compatibility is very little and it cannot change the coin to mine. So even though it is very efficient and fast, when the coin is obsolete or there's more efficient ASIC launch in the market, then your ASIC will no longer profitable. Hence, we decided to mine crypto using FPGA because they yield better returns due to higher hash rates than GPU and its flexibility in algorithms which outperforms ASIC. And it is the most suitable to mine ASIC resistant coin or famously known as altcoins. So, are you ready to switch to FPGA? Why don't you let us know? And if you need any help, reach out to us through our Telegram and QQ. And if you're also interested about the hardest FPGA boards in the community, stay tuned to FPGA Guide YouTube channel because we will discuss about it soon. And don't forget to get a better knowledge about FPGA mining by visiting our website at www.fpga.com. So, to wrap everything, I want to say goodbye and happy mining!